All right, it's that time, three news now, and for that we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hey, Stephanie. Hey there, everybody. Uh, there's a little change up happening to the leadership at Sherwin Williams. CEO John Morikas will be stepping down from that role in January, and he will be replaced by a familiar face, the current president and chief operating officer, Heidi Petz. Petz put out this video thanking her predecessor and talking about the future of the company. My deepest thanks and respect goes to John Marikas for his extraordinary leadership, his commitment and dedication to Sherwin-Williams for nearly 40 years. John has been a tremendous mentor to me and to many others during his outstanding career. We are a 157-year-old company and I'm excited for the next 150 years. We're just getting started and the best is ahead. Now, one thing for sure that's ahead, at some point during her first year as CEO, Sherwin-Williams' new global headquarters is expected to be complete in downtown Cleveland. That'll be just west of Public Square between St. Clair Avenue and Superior Avenue. Its office tower, pavilion, and parking garage will cover about 1 million square feet and hold more than 3,100 employees. Now, in her new role as CEO starting January 1st, Pets will keep the title of president and she'll also have a seat on the company's board of directors. As for Morikas, he's not going away. He'll still very much be a part of the mix. He's staying with Sherwin-Williams as executive chairman. He's been with the company since 1984 and was named CEO in 2017. Now it's time for our question of the day. There is a push to outlaw junk fees. Those are those hidden charges that show up on things like hotel and restaurant bills. So we wanna know what's the most surprising extra charge that you've been hit with that you weren't expecting? Post your comment to the WKYC Facebook page. We'll talk about this during 3 News at 5. You know, these kinds of things are so common. If you stay at a hotel, you see all those little convenience fees, resort fees, it can really add up. Mm, yeah. yeah, and they tell you to question it, right? You should question, what is this? I usually don't do that. I was reading an article literally a week ago saying, question the hidden fees. Absolutely. So it's, I mean, it never hurts to ask, right? Exactly. The worst they can say is, no, you have to pay for that. Yeah, Steph, thanks so much.